basis of beauty? Is it in the eye of the beholder? A friend of mine recalls a time on holiday when he watched a sunset at a local beauty spot. As the sun sank lower in the sky, a hush came over the gathered tourists. They stared in silent awe at the ever-changing panorama of oranges and reds before them. Then, at the end of the show, as the light dimmed, the audience broke into spontaneous applause at the awesome beauty on display. But why is something as commonplace as a sunset so spectacularly beautiful? Our world is full of beauty. Flowers, forests and faces, mountain lakes, Monet's paintings and Mozart's music. Further away from home, the Hubble telescope has parted the starry curtain to reveal a heavenly canvas covered in galaxies and nebula. Of course, some of what we see as beautiful is simply subjective. Fashions change, but is there nevertheless an objective pattern underneath it all? What is it about a particular blend of chaos and order that resonates so deeply with our soul? What are we to make of the breathtaking sights and sounds all around us? I saw a rainbow the other day. It was so beautiful that I just stopped and stared in wonder. Now I know how they're formed, I've coded their mathematics into many a virtual world, but that only heightens my appreciation of them. It's like some joyful artist has swept his brush across the sky in an expressive flourish of glowing pastel hues. I'm not convinced that our sense of the sublime is simply an anomaly of our brains trying to make sense of the world. Could it be that our appreciation, awe and indeed worship is being intentionally drawn out? What if the beauty in nature, mathematics and the arts pointed to a God who created the universe in order to give expression to his own glorious beauty. If beauty is a piece of the God puzzle, then it would be a shame to clap the sun and ignore its creator.